I got for selling me clothes, Tokens for selling me plenty. If ever I list for a soldier again, Devil shall be me, Sergeant. Alright ladies and gents, you won't see much of this because it's rapidly getting dark now, but here we are. That camp shaky to me. Fella there. I, I, we've got to talk about that chair, but not at this like time. Chair, ladies and gents. <laughs> we, we, we'll get a good... My little love chair. Yeah. Um, because you, you know how... how the, the I'm sorry Carl, but it's going to break. Because it's... You know what I mean? Find it's a very unmanly chair that. It is very unmanly. And there's Mike with his new uh, hat. New tit for tat. We have the motor and oh, it, it is raining a bit there, it's not lashing it down, but I'll show you Mike's spanking new tent, mate. And for the money you've got that for, I would struggle just to buy the material by the meter, mate. Yeah. It's a spanking bit of tent. That's a Norway, so when we go in there, we have to go, oh, I am from Norway. Have you got the um, But just doing a quick, we got here a day early. Just because we can. And there's David's posh shut up. We don't want the young cat, so I'm just gonna take it away. Yeah, um, loving that. No problems getting here whatsoever, was there? No. Bit of a, yeah, well, we've done a runner from the little chef on the way down, didn't we? But that's traditional, isn't it? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> anyway, ladies and gents, it's, um, just getting the brew on. We're getting ourselves sorted for the night. And uh, I would stick you in the tent, but there's no line. So take care. Right, good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Um, there's breakfast there. Self-propelled breakfast. <laughs> oh, no, not Mike, the chicken there. Um, here we are at the old uh, Camp Shaky. We got here mid-afternoon yesterday with the old chariot. And, uh, yeah, we got set up, though, mate, didn't we? And then it started yeah. raining. And then the wind, the wind was absolute nightmare, wasn't it? So I think um, Mike's new tent here, absolutely spanking bit of kit. Um, really passed the test, mate, didn't it? It's yeah. Empty. You ain't gonna get no better test here in the UK than that, mate. Um, and the old tarp sort of, even though it was just a chuck up job, if that makes sense, stayed up, yeah. And uh, it was well wellish weather, wasn't it? But there you go. Oh. You know, we're not fair weather campers, are we? We're not like sissies. No. Yeah. Sort of a very basic. Oh, quick look! Breakfast is getting away. Look, he, he's he's heard me. <laughs> getting your eggs delivered, fresh. <laughs> <laughs> and your tent there, mate. Um, that's, that held up spankingly, didn't it? Yeah, but it's not the it's not the first time you've had that in a bit of no, weather, has it? No, but that was. I'm not going to mention extreme. the heat. <laughs> <laughs> Oh no, this is this is posh camping. This is posh camping. As it turned up, some of them coming up in the in the day, and this is only the Friday Friday morning because we come up the Thursday. Uh, started off dead early, uh, making a really nice uh, week, long weekend of it. Yeah, but cracking little. Um, got to remember now to keep the camp because things like this, I just you know. Obviously, some people don't want to be on film and all that, and it's all about sort of getting to know people and meeting people that I haven't, I've, I've come to know on YouTube and Facebook, but never because they live at the opposite end of the country. Um, I never had a chance to sort of meet properly, if that makes sense. But this is what this is all about for me, rather than sort of bushcrafting and you know, making spoons and stuff. But right, anyway, um, so I've right, done us proud, you know, got us down here. I had a kip in the back of that. You know, I had a kip in the back of the rover on the way down. Same here, yeah. <laughs> nice. Yeah, brilliant. Is he being doobie? Yeah, he's doobie. Yeah, 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 doobie. Last night, wasn't it? But yeah. I mean, like you say, we was alright, we didn't get yeah. wet, we didn't no. get cold, we didn't get an egg, it was brilliant, didn't it? And the old test, Mike said, you ain't going to get a better test no, for that no. tent or your one, mate, you know? That's it, isn't it? That's so, uh, that stood up well, mate, that dark pass Yeah, we, 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 we got some man points, didn't we, for last yeah. night, yeah. <laughs> some yeah, geezer well, points. Yeah, it was, yeah. yeah. Easy. And I'll tell you what, uh, when I woke up for a Waz, mate, ball, that wind was like proper chronic like you know yeah. I was going to have a wander down to see, see if any because we're only about sort of 11 o'clock where anybody was in the old um, adventure show but I just crawled back into my sleeping bag yeah. anyway 
Is oh, Mike filming <laughs> Tightwood? With me. But, oh, look, look. <laughs> but yeah, something looks to be like a homemade uh, baker tent now. I'll go and have a look at that in a minute. But I'm not um, sticking my uh, camera in people's faces and setups because uh, you know, I'm quite aware that a lot of people don't actually want that, if that makes sense. But no worries. Anyway, uh, I'll bring you back, ladies and gents. But like I say, I'm going to be doing a great deal of filming here. Oh. Are you breakfast or are you lunch? <laughs> Take care, ladies and gents. Who's just getting the older bacon on? It's your new little stove down, Mike, isn't it? First burn. First burn. Yeah. It's coming along nicely. Looks like that bacon. There's Morning the, chaps. There's the big fella. And inside of that tent, that's our Qatar, this that tent mate, isn't it? There's a, there's yeah. a room in there. He's had uh, three of us in there and you know if you top to tell people you get you'd easily get five in there reasonably comfortable, you know what I mean? Yeah. Bring it up. Yeah, room, uh, a bit messy at the moment, but yeah, I'm on the left. Mike's on the uh, bed and the big fella's on the right. But yeah, got the old uh, axe going. That's, some, well, that's a nice little two roll that mate. Yeah. I've got it off on the eBay, but the guy is actually on the uh, is that post. Lee Robinson, is it? Yeah, he does some good canvas kit, mate. Yeah, I bought one of his little bags, and I like for me natural, you know, like traditional yeah. fire kit. Yeah. And I'm, you know, so up, but I've got to be honest, mate, yeah, just saying that, and I've said it a few times. I've been, I've been looking at, like, two tall rolls. Yeah. Right, and I almost bought it, but then when I saw that, I thought, traditional. Yeah, canvas, yeah, yeah, it there. is canvas, mate, yeah. Um, he does some stuff there, mate, and, uh, you know, I, I don't know how he does it for the price, to be perfectly honest, you know, with the amount of sewing up and that, because that's what the, the times, time it takes, anyway. Uh, yeah, new addition, go with the tent mate, and that will go out the top of the tent. Yeah. Oh yeah, well I've got, I've got the fins to go with it, so yeah. the, for the teepee, I've got two of those, yeah. so they'll go in there and like, that will keep the teepee of the uh, canvas, well, the tent material away yeah. from the hot stove. Yeah. So we'll get that set up and put it in there tonight, right. so it'll be nice and cozy. Warm, yeah. But nice one, so uh, yeah, bacon's on the go and uh, brookies. Bread has been battered. Nice. I like that frying pan as well, it's a bit. Well, it's just kind of. I bought in macros for a fiver. Yeah. Just like no, no nonsense frying pan, isn't it? Like, yeah. We call it black steel. Yeah, it's nice, mate. Yeah, it's uh, ideal for. Yeah. Plastic pieces to burn no, that's what I mean, it's just like, yeah, old style, isn't it? You don't just come across them often, certainly not in the shops and that, do you? No. And when you go to, like, you know, some of the sites, they can be quite expensive, really. Well, uh, this was in the, like, the catering supplies part. Yeah. You know, so I think, sort of, it's, it's there for, sort of, proper caterers, sort of. Yeah. Thing, yeah. You get bigger ones, but I bought that size purely, you know, just for yeah. the... So you could carry it in a burger if necessary, but it's, yeah. it's doing okay there, yeah. mate, isn't it? Bacon's going okay. Right, anyway, ladies and gents, yeah. Um, maybe, is that, that's the little primer stove you got? Yeah. Bushcraft show, mate? Oh, yeah. nice little bit of kit, that. That's raw in there, isn't it? Oh, yeah. yeah. Got a number two cooker on um, steroids. So just getting the old bacon going. Oh, the old current bun's oh, coming up. Oh, yes. What we need get me nan stride out. Because <laughs> I'm quite impressed with that tent, mate, for the size, and you know that was strapped to the back of your burger, wasn't it? Yeah. 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 So it weighs, I think, uh, something over, just over three kilos. Three it's not bad for a, a tent like that, mate. Yeah. Because in all honesty, if you topped and tail people, you could get a few lads in there, oh, couldn't yeah, you? Yeah. 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 No, it wouldn't be like it's you. Be yeah. Three. You know, yeah. Well, yeah. You know, top and tail is. Yeah. 
but that's all very nice there, mate. You didn't pay a great deal for that, did you? No, I've got yeah. for nothing here, innit? Yeah, and then you had a little... What they, what they actually cost, no, I mean, you would buy a new. Yeah, yeah, you right. just don't see them no more, mate, do you? No. Well, no, I didn't, they're like near 200 quid. Yeah, how much you pay for it again? 15 quid. No, no, <laughs> smile, mate, no. You had some, I was like well jealous, mate, because I said if there's a thing and buy here, I'm going to walk around just to the side of you, near the table. As soon as I see your eyes focus on something, gonna I'm going to grab it because it must be a good little kit. <laughs> no. But no, you had some results down there, mate, didn't you? Yeah, yeah. And the say, because uh, that was a part of it, you fucked flogged a bit of kit, so I think it's self financing. Yeah, didn't it? yeah. yeah. You know I mean? Self financing. Yeah. Oh, you don't mind that? You don't feel so bad, do you? Yeah. Mind it. Well, you, gone, you, you ain't got to tell as many lies when you get home. <laughs> No, that's, that's, that's um, probably going to be my bacon there, so uh, I'm going to... But yeah, so it turned out to be a little result that cooker, mate, isn't it? Yeah. And I could call the um, table a bit, Gaylord, but it's actually... A, 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 a practical. Very practical bit of kit, mate, yes. Yeah. And a Oh, no, yeah, Bergen, I know. Yeah. Yeah. I do yeah. enter to sort of get one of them, mate, yeah. yeah. They don't weigh jack, jack nothing, and that way you ain't cooking in the dirt and that, like, yeah. So, you know, again, it's um, very practical. No, nah, nice one. Um, shame you can't smell that bacon, anyway. Yeah, Ladies and gentlemen, yeah, a bit busy to do a bit of filming now. Um, everybody's sort of here, probably ain't going to get much light. Uh, people are turning up now. Obviously, people work until Friday night and getting down there. But uh, what we're going to have tonight, I've got to keep remembering to do filming. We'll have a cracking day. The show is about half past nine. Yeah, <laughs> cracking show is uh, nice. There, we've got like. Dave Fryer is on first. Yeah, uh, we've got um, <laughs> chip, chip, chips in the field. Um, assume the, assume wild the ball burgers and that. <laughs> Onions and that's all cooking on Marty's cooker there very very nicely. And David's managed to get himself a Swedish Empire Red Nighty trousers. I've got a jacket to match, so we're, there's going to be a deal in the future, Dave. I'm going to pour you. They're cracking pair of kegs, mate, for a nice price. Oh, oh, yeah, we, um, there's a army surplus guy's turned up there and had a few bits off him, and that got a nice wool blanket and that nice, really dark green. But yeah, that is, is going to be our. I'll scoff it tonight, wild boar burgers, we're going to boil the uh, potatoes off and then fry them, chipolata sole, onions, boar burgers, bread, mmm, yummy, that's a nice cooker mate, okay. really nice cooker, and again the flames just get mesmerising then, but yeah, got, well I'll show it tomorrow, it's too dark, Martin's got a little set up here so we're well out of the wind and the rain, if there is any more, don't know that it's going to be any more, but if there is we don't care, because we as geezers and we can handle it. No, I think we're covered. Yeah, there we go. But anyway, yeah, it's getting a bit sort of dark now, I don't think you see anything. So, but ladies and gents, take care. Five and ten. Oh, good morning, ladies and gents. I didn't do any filming yesterday. Uh, too busy nattering and meeting people. But, uh, another windy night. Um, old tent. Worth every penny, mate, wasn't it? Stood up really well. Yeah, really, really well. So did the actual 4 before struck to the vehicle. Hello, hello, Michael. Morning. Morning, wasn't it? Maybe getting a, some, some water on here. There was only one tent fail there, mate, wasn't there? One tent Yeah, Apparently he's banging out all night or something, but I don't know. Yeah, well, yeah, I think you've got to put the guy lights on. Yeah. Right, that was what was happening. I don't know, you forgot about it, you might have had too much to drink last night. Well, there's breakfast again. And we've uh, not lacking in the old breakfast department there. It's all ready to go. Oh. <laughs> you are master chef, mate. <laughs> and what have, we, what have you... I'll just catch it on camera, mate. Our new... I'm going to call it um, OC. And OC comes from... East End. Yeah. We're all from that area. That's going to come forward. Yeah, and it's like... Yeah. Yeah, that's Conker sort of thing. and... I won't say the other one, but... But no, I think that would capture as encapsulate all of That's a good name, yeah. Someone's just come up with a name. You, you, know, you can't say Essex boys, I think. That's a bit no, lame, isn't it? It's Essex a is a bit... I senior. Uh, is that the name we get? I senior. Yeah, well, I senior. This is um, obviously Bodicea's clan. Yeah. And uh, she actually, well, defeated... Ransack Colchester. Yeah, and defeated many Roman legions. Yeah. Uh, silly cow, uh, in the end. Met him in the big field for a battle, and you can't do that with the Romans. You will lose, and everybody lose. She was the first one to probably do guerrilla tactics, so I hit and right. run, hit and run, hit and run. Yeah, she decimated. Um, she only had less soldiers. Um, yeah, no, yes, fair enough, mate. But um, 
She had enough when she got there, and I do know sort of the, the final battle on that. But um, the thing is, she met them in a conventional battle yeah. in a big field, and you don't do that with the Romans. And the Romans had less men than she did, and uh, more organised. Yeah, no, she did, mate. They were, they were professional soldiers, but yeah, but she did. Um, you know, one of the few in history, apart from the Scottish, got to mention that as well. Yeah. I mean, no, I've got to mention when we're talking about the Romans and in you know United Kingdom, the old uh, Romans. Yeah. Well, they they went over that border up up north and they went oh for fuck's sake up north like they come like. running back and uh, they built a wall so to stop them coming over well that's what Jock Lee used to tell me when I was in the army anyway <laughs> and when he had a beer yeah and he had his bagpipes out and he was doing his Scottish bit like for our Scotland you best not be telling arguing with him because <laughs> <laughs> no no but you've got to mention that um, England was one of the few countries that you know oh, proper did at various a, times a Scottish person amongst us yeah is um. We, um, yeah, give the Romans a bit of a hammering, but yeah. Anyway, so it's Iceni, yeah? And that was a tribe, yeah, Iceni crew. I really like that. Yeah. Well, I heard it, and I mean, that's the one. That is the one. <laughs> oh, you'd wish, you just wish the IC. Well, it has, well, it, it, well, it has a bit of medieval. If, that, if you, that's yeah. the case, which one's Boudicca tonight? <laughs> uh, sorry, you've got flaming red hair there, mate. I'm a Boudicca. No, yeah, and Boudicca had flaming red hair. I'm sorry, mate, my ass is already in trouble after that. <laughs> <laughs> that was a bit of a. No! <laughs> <laughs> Uh, all the crew, right? Like. No, well, just badge, we? you can't say Essex boys. On it. No, it's just all been used up and all that, mate. Anyway, and it's got to be something with semi-historical and semi a little bit, yeah, joke, you know, funny. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, yeah well, don't ask me. I can probably spell that. I reckon. Anyway, they would anyway. be used to grass, or like to do now. They would be used when it. It's a big fella, there. I, I thought, I think Not really. We're already here. Although, what I will say, what I will say, it doesn't matter who you are, if you reside here in the UK and you have done for generations, you have Viking DNA in you somewhere. You have Norman DNA in somewhere, you know what I mean? It all makes me where it, you know, what it is and that. Right, brother? Good night. As it goes, mate. Yeah, I've, I've got up at half nine, but there I go. But did you sleep well, did you? Oh, I slept very well in my baby bag, but we've gone in and we've got YouTube later, apparently. Thank you for that. It's probably not getting much of this because uh, we've got the old wind on, but yeah, we're not going to go short for breakfast there. And hopefully, I think Ginger Bruce is coming over for a bit of breakfast, isn't he? Yeah, no, nice one. So I'll bring you back, ladies and gents, but in all honesty, I ain't having a, a lot of time for filming because uh, this is not what it's all about. And when you're with a big crew over there, I'm always conscious that not everybody wants to be on film now. So I keep the camera where it belongs in my skyrocket. Take care. Okay, mid afternoon now, and uh, there's lunch if he doesn't bugger off. And you're having the first little burn of your firebox here, mate. Yeah? Been a nice little bit of kit trade in and that everybody, isn't it? Yeah. Mike's got a few bits up there for sale. Back a little burger if anybody wants it. See Mike Cuff. And he does understand the word haggle. <laughs> 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 but yeah, just uh, <laughs> doing too much and uh, I see them pair of trousers and I don't he's got M90 back in Swedish. Mm. I'm sure. They will become mine soon. We will have a little deal, we'll all deal or something. Because I've got the jacket to match that. No, I've got it. <laughs> what are you saying? I'm determined to get David's trousers on. Cool, you can't get away from a siren anywhere you go, can you? Yeah. Bergen's open with nothing in. Cockney twat. Oh, I'll nick that, mate. Oh, I'll flog that down, but like. His famous saying is. If it fits in my burn, I'll have it. <laughs> <laughs> um, was it, was it diesel? Yeah. Diesel do. <laughs> <laughs> diesel, yeah, diesel do. It was your regular one. Ah, nice one. Yeah, it just haven't kind of... It's not really the place we do a lot of filming, mate, is it?
No, no. It's, it's there's a few people over there, or you know, and, and loads of others. You just kind of don't know. The last thing you do is stick a camera in people's face, but it's been a cracking little meet though so far, mate, isn't it? Oh yeah, it goes through quick though, don't it? There's the mad ginger booth. <laughs> He well, agent didn't speak about Why? Because nobody wouldn't pay the ransom. <laughs> <laughs> right, ladies, uh, I say good morning. It's the last morning. We're all having a bit of a pack up here at Old Camp Shake here. This mic. About. And, uh, I'm about the wind. You will not hear me if Dave is shooting about. But the wind last night was just phenomenal, wasn't it, mate? It was up fierce. That was, that was worse than when we came Friday, Thursday. Yeah. Yeah. But it, it tested all the kit. Up. Most of it held up. Yeah. Mank, Mike's tent, absolutely spanking worth every single penny you pay for it and more. And I'll just give you a quick pan round. Because it's, uh, I think we had well over 100 people here. Um, and more than that, we've got the tent. Again, I'm not going to... I haven't done too much filming at all, because it's just been a brilliant meet. Socialising and all that. Yeah. Kit, deals. Oh, it's the wind. It's atrocious, mate, isn't it? Your oh, tent held up as well, didn't it? Yeah. I think the only tent fell was... Um, BD hammocks? They're tops? Oh, no, they could have a little bit, mate, but I don't know. I think there's a barrier that we missed up, didn't we? I'm going to go down and see if, yeah. see if his feet are hanging out the tent again. <laughs> Bless him. That's self-inflicted, though, isn't it, really? Oh, no, look, man, it's just one of them things. It's classic, mate. It's a classic, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah. All my kit, I'm ready to throw my kit in the land over and help Mark get it. We might get the tent down, mate, yeah, that's about it. Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm good. Like, and then make the other one. Right. Right, as you can hear then, ladies and gents, uh, Camp Shaky, absolutely brilliant time. Brilliant time. Great. Yeah, goodbye from me, and it's goodbye from. Goodbye from him. Smurf. <laughs> <laughs> or Noddy. <laughs> no, no, you always crack me up, mate. You, you're a bar, mate. You, 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 you get points for it. You're the camp yeah. mascot, mate. And I mean that in a really, like... See how gay you're looking at? Oh, he's a good-looking dude, isn't he? <laughs> the one, the one you look at. You've got a new title now, have not you? No, no, no. We <laughs> get um, some stick for that, mate. But, hey, hey, anyway. I'll get to your weekend, mate, on that show. You're half definitely, aren't yeah. you? Yeah. But you failed. Yeah, right. <laughs> 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 right anyway, ladies and gents, I'm not going to do too much for them, I just want to say a quick to our um, shaky guys, Gordon, you know, Matt, Phil, 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 we are almost in Wales anyway, and they have their own ecosystem, bless them, don't they? So, ladies and gents, um, camp shaky, um, take care and uh, be safe.